if you happen to leave an egg up on the counter and a toddler's reaching up, you say, no, don't touch that. And I'm saying, no, let him grab it. What did the egg cost you? Last I checked, 40 cents at most. Watch. You know the egg is going to end up breaking. But so what? Watch, the kid starts playing with the egg and then they do something with it and then it breaks. That's interesting. Something can be hard yet fragile. And then what's inside? There's this transparent goopy stuff and there's a yellow thing. What is that? And then you tell them that might have been a chicken. Oh my God. Blow their oh, mind. Blow their mind. And by the way, you see that colorless stuff? If I heat it, it turns white. You can watch it change color in front of your eyes. There's seven science experiments to do with the kid reaching for the egg that you didn't want them to touch and you just squashed that because you don't want to use the 40 cents. Okay, all I'm saying is that curiosity is beaten out of us by the time we're in middle school. If you retain that curiosity, that rampant curiosity, you're a scientist. A scientist is a kid who grew up physically, but not emotionally, not mentally. If I see some, hey, what is that? Let me poke that. 